A farmer had some puppies he needed to sell. He painted a sign advertising the pups and set about nailing it to a post on the edge of his yard. As he was driving the last nail into the post, he felt a tug on his overalls. He looked down into the eyes of a little boy. Mister, he said, I want to buy one of your puppies. Well, said the farmer, as he rubbed the sweat off the back of his neck. These puppies come from fine parents and cost a good deal of money. The boy dropped his head for a moment. Then reaching deep into his pockets, he pulled out a handful of change and held it up to the farmer. I've got 39 cents. Is that enough to take a look? Sure, said the farmer. And with that, he let out a whistle. <whistles> Here, Dolly, he called. Out from the doghouse and down the ramp ran Dolly, followed by four little balls of fur. The little boy pressed his face against the chain link fence. His eyes danced with delight. As the dogs made their way to the fence, the little boy noticed something else stirring inside the doghouse. Slowly another little ball appeared, this one noticeably smaller. Down the ramp it slid. Then in a somewhat awkward manner, the little pup began hobbling towards the others, doing its best to catch up. I want that one, the little boy said, pointing to the runt. The farmer knelt down at the boy's side and said, Son, you don't want that puppy, surely. It would never be able to run and play with you like the other dogs. With that, the little boy stepped back from the fence, reached down and began rolling up one of his trousers. In doing so, he revealed a steel brace running down both sides of his leg, attaching itself to a specially made shoe. Looking back up at the farmer, he said, You see, sir, I don't run too well myself, and he will need someone who understands. So what have we learned from this story? One should have an empathetic attitude. There are so many people in the world who need people who can understand them. Being considerate and understanding to them will help them regain their self-esteem and confidence. Sairam